Today's math puzzle comes from the AMC 12 math competition in the year 2015. And it tells us that integers x and y, where x is greater than y, which is greater than 0, satisfy the following equality, where x plus y plus x times y is equal to 80. And it asks us to solve for x here. So let's go ahead and jump into this. First, what I'm going to notice is that this left-hand side factors pretty nicely into something that splits up x and y. And that's because we have an x, a y, and an x times y factor here. And we can notice pretty quickly that we can just add 1 to each of these factors to get x, that's x times 1, y, which is y times 1, and then xy, which is x times y. And this is all equal to 80. But notice that we left out this 1 times 1 term here. So this is actually equal to 81. But now what we can do is we can factor 81. And the thing about 81 is it has a very nice prime factorization where it splits into four copies of three, or three to the fourth power. Well, that's nice because we know that there's only a certain amount of solutions that solves this equation here for x and y. We know that our ordered pairs could be 181. We know that we could have 9, 9. We know that we could have 3 and 27. We know that we could have 27 and 3 and that we could have 81 and 1. But notice right away that we can get rid of our 181 and our 81 1 terms. And you might say, why is that the case? Well, if we let this term be 81, then we have x plus 1 equals 81, and this term has to be 1. y plus 1 is equal to 1. However, we stipulated up here that x and y both have to be bigger than 0. And in this case, we have that y is equal to 0. So this doesn't work. OK, so now we're only left with 9, 9, 3, 27, and 27, 3. And notice that if we do 9 and 9, we have x plus 1 is equal to 9, and y plus 1 is equal to 9. But we also have that x is strictly bigger than y, and in this case, both x and y would be equal to 8. So it's not this case either, and we can cross that off our list. So now we're only left with 3, 27, and 27, 3. And pretty clearly, we can see that this is not going to be the case either, because again, x has to be bigger than y. So we're left with x plus 1 is equal to 27 and y plus 1 is equal to 3. And that gives us the solution set x is equal to 26 and y is equal to 2. And that is our final answer here. I think that's enough for now.